Hi guys. As you can tell by the title, we have a really fun video today. I'm so excited to unbox this juicer. Um, I am home. As you can tell, we are quarantined due to the coronavirus. There's no fresh juice being made at the shop. It's very sad. <laughs> but what better time to have a home juicer and be able to make juice at home. So thinking of all of y'all, especially my fellow juice bar owners, whether you're closed down, whether you're pickup and delivery only, I don't know, whatever your circumstances, thinking of all y'all, praying for all y'all. We closed the shop and um, that's just kind of that. So now we're home and we're gonna make juice at home with our new M1. Great timing on that. Bad circumstances, great timing. Good Nature did send this to us and so we're excited to share it with y'all, answer your questions, show y'all how it works and just um, have a little bit of fun during this awkward time. Thank you, Good Nature, for allowing this fun content. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Unfortunately, Lauren can't be here because we are doing social distancing and you can't make juice within six feet of each other. So um, <laughs> that's a little bit of a bummer, but we will reunite here soon and be able to make all the fun videos. It's gonna be a lot of home juicing videos for now and then we'll take the juicer to the shop and show you guys how it works there and operates there. I'll leave a link to this juicer below. It's our smallest juicer yet. Um, countertop juicer again, great for home juicing, great for a juice business if you're kind of on a budget because it's um, pretty affordable in comparison to a lot of commercial juicers. So check out the link below if you're interested in all the details. If you have no idea who we are, if you're not a part of our um, little juice family here, hi I'm Jordan, I own JK Juices, we're a juice shop in Finley, Ohio and um, we've actually owned like all of Good Nature's normal size juicers. So got the CT7, I'll include a little clip here of that unboxing. Oh my goodness. It's all wrapped up. Oh, something else I wanted to tell you guys was. And then we got the X1 Mini. We missed one. We missed one somewhere. Found it. She found it. Okay, now we're ready. One, two. It's smaller than I thought it would be. And then we got the big X1. And now, thanks to Good Nature, we have the M1. If you're looking to start a juice business, check out my business ebooks in the description box below and all of our fun business videos. Um, if you're looking for a lot of juicing videos, my sister Lauren is our head juicer at the shop right now and is just like, makes the best juice videos you could ever imagine. So lots of fun content on her channel as well. I will link that below. So business stuff, check that out. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a little intro if you're new because if you want to know what's going on and blah, 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 blah. Right off the bat upon delivery, um, a very light, easy juicer to move around. Uh, it was easy. My husband and I carried it in very easily. Oh, I like the packaging. This is new. Ooh la la. Another little bit of info. If you're new to Good Nature and just like curious about this company, one of the absolute best businesses like out there. Their customer service, their community aspect, um, the way they care for their customers, Absolutely amazing. The CT7 was the first juicer I bought from them. Since then, I've communicated with them and bought more juicers and just has been an ongoing relationship. We've been to JuiceCon, which is a big conference that they host, and they're just amazing. So if you have any questions, if you are like wondering anything, curious about anything, they will be there to answer it. They're American made. We have been to Good Nature's manufacturing and headquarters. We've been to their location in Buffalo and did a podcast with them, but got to tour the facility and and it's just a great place to kind of visit. And it's all made it here in America, right here in Buffalo, just five hours that way. <laughs> and we've only heard um, great things. All of our fellow juice community, you can probably attest to that. So good nature, we love you. Thanks for the cool juicer. I feel like I want to say like I miss you all. <laughs> I know so many of y'all watching this and um, I just miss you guys. I wanna go to JuiceCon, I wanna hang out. I want juice business things to be back to normal. So I just, I miss you all, okay? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna actually get to the unboxing. Now. So right here on the top, we've got the quick start guide, which oh, is a really nice little all-in-one. Here, let me show you guys the top of this real fast. This is kind of what this is looking like. So in here you get a little packet, field notes, 
um, some little paperwork, kind of a story behind them, what they're all about. Nothing juicer related, more so business. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. This feels like a mixture, like material wise, between plastic and metal. What kind of material is this? It's like really heavy, but it kind of feels plasticky. Oh, and then we've got their fresh filter bags, which are NSF approved. These are the bags you put in the juicer. They're one time use and they're kind of like a tea bag material. These are the same bags the X1 Mini uses. And you put the pulp in the bags, you press it, and the juice comes out of the bags, pulp stays in there. They make cleanup so easy, so you're not washing a press bag. They're much more sanitary because you don't have to wash and sanitize the press bag. They're one time use, and um, yeah. Very nice, you get a big old bag, and then you can buy more on their website. All right, everything from there is empty. <laughs> This juicer comes in lots of colors. We got it in white. Oh my gosh, it's so crisp and clean. Ah, just wait. Can you tell I haven't had social interaction for a while? You're getting a little bit of the crazy side of me. Sorry. Now we got the juicer. Hallelujah. I love the shade of white. It's, you know what? Yeah, it's not like a bright white. You guys can't tell this, but the shade of white, it's not like a bright white, white. Like this is a white white. It's more like a cream and I love it. A bright white would put off like a really, um, like a vibe that is sterile. This puts off a cozy vibe because it's a little bit more cream. Oh, I love that. Good nature. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Here it is size wise. The top, my hand, whole hand can fit on the top, my arm. It's pretty small. I feel like I could pick it up, you know, like I could just pick it up like this and take it with me. Grind, press, stop, shoot. I'm gonna keep unboxing this. I feel like I need some scissors. All right, so you can see here, it just takes a normal um, outlet, nothing special as far as electrical. This might be called the hopper, that's what it's called on the mini, but it just kind of twists, as you can see, into place to easily come off. We've got the blade here. All of these are very similar pieces and parts to the X1 mini, just a little bit smaller. So similar blade as the mini. And then we've got the press chamber, which goes in the juicer like this. This is the part that gets pushed by the rod right there. This is a part of the machine, you know, that makes it cold press, so slightly kind of chops up the produce. The produce drops into here. You put one of those fresh filter bags in here. The press presses it slowly like this, psh, 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 and then the juice falls out the bottom. This is like a little catching chamber that you can uh, put your cup or glass at, so it just falls, falls down like that and all the easy to use buttons as well. It doesn't take up a lot of counter space. Here's my hand again, you can see how wide it is. It's not wide at all. It's nice and long, so countertop wise, it's not competing for space. So we are um, actually putting this on a buffet bar with our espresso machine. We'll have a full setup there, so stay tuned to that. That video's coming actually very soon. We're installing the buffet bar and doing all that tonight. Power buttons, plugins are down there at the back on the bottom. Man, it's just a nice looking machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out all the other juice business videos. I'll leave playlists below. So you can also just scroll through the channel if you're curious. Um, I'll also leave a link to the juicer below if you want to see more statistical information on it, what it can do. It can press pretty much any fruit or vegetable. Can't do bananas. You can't juice bananas. It can do your apples and your cucumbers and your kales and it can do nut milks, parsley, mint, um, I can do all your lemons and your gingers and your turmerics. I'm going to be sharing a lot of this juicer on my Instagram, um, showing us juicing here at home. Too bad we're not in like the thick of garden season because then I would have all the cucumbers and the beets and all the good things, but we're close to there. We're getting there. <laughs> We've actually been planning our garden this past week and it's gonna be fabulous. If you wanna see more videos of the M1, Good Nature has a few kind of showing it and announcing it and whatnot. So whatever videos they have of the M1, I will link those below. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. They post a lot of good content, um, just like really professional content showing the products and giving really good information. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you're also new here, I just had a baby six weeks ago and he's back there sleeping so bright. You guys wanna see, I'll show you. You, you over there giggling, you was all fussy. <laughs> you, you like your workouts, huh?
Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.